Ah, this is. I just. I, I don't have fucking words anymore. <laughs> the lockdown is just too great to bear. I'm not living in fear of COVID 19. I, what I'm living in fear of is what's happening to this country. And, you know, Tucker, no one reached out to me and said, uh, as a senior citizen, uh, are you willing to take a chance on your survival in exchange for keeping the America that all America loves for your children and grandchildren? And if that's the exchange, I'm all in. What are you talking about? First, if you really want to die so the U.S. economy can boom, we already have a system in place for that, and it's called Black Friday. Have at it. That's been a clip from last week tonight with John Oliver. Hi, hey John. Um, seeing the corruption inherent in the system, are we? Seeing how uh, the uh, people in power are just uh, out of their minds. Demented, you know, fucking uh, power hungry, as as you all seem to like to say. I'll just call it power sick. They've gone sick, mentally, psychologically, and emotionally sick with power. Because they think that because they have this fake power, and what they have is not a real power. They think that because they have this fake power, that it makes them better than anyone else. That it makes them immune to this virus. <laughs> what a bunch of retards. They are retarded. And they're corrupt. Just completely fucking corrupt. It is long since past time for a radical change in the uh, so-called leadership. It needs quotation fingers, Dr. Evil style. So-called leadership. Because they're not leading jack fucking shit. They're sitting on their ass whining about how they don't have a billion dollar fucking... Eggs Benedict or Eggs Florentine breakfast, while the uh, the rest of us, such as myself and uh, a lot of other people, not just in my situation, but uh, well, stepdad works in the uh, local power industry, and you know he he's in the same boat with me now. Me, I'm on disability and, and fucking food stamps. So, I'm getting hit the hardest by these assholes in power who think they're better than me being bitches. And, um... Ah, yes. I've got this paper all printed up. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> no one cited the Declaration of Independence. But, um, guess what? The Declaration of Independence states quite concisely that it is my responsibility as an honorable and decent and civilized citizen or at the very least, a decent, civilized uh, man to rise up against the tyranny that has now been truly identified as the United States terrorist organization. And they are an organized criminal syndicate of terrorists. They truly are. So, I've, I've sent an email request. Um asking the Supreme Court to provide an email address 
and that was on March 25th, eh, five days ago right now. Seriously, how long does it take to set up a, an email address for me to send in a, a digital copy of this paperwork? I've got the, cap the paperwork as a backup. You know, I mean, Supreme Court justices, if you want to risk the coronavirus from uh, people handling it in the mail, because I know I don't have it. <laughs> I absolutely know for a fact I don't have it. If you guys want to risk it, go right ahead. I will mail this in. And I've got two backup copies. And um, John Oliver from last week tonight. Um, buddy, I'll, I'll fucking, um, I'll send you the, um, the, uh, well, what is it? The, the email. Yeah, um, I, I reformatted the, um, document to rich text as opposed to um, a Microsoft XML document. Uh, printer had a hard time. I had to email it to someone to print it for me because I don't have a printer. So their printer had a hard time with the uh, XML so I had to do rich text format. So I'll send it to you. And keep in mind John uh, this this isn't like a fucking 800 page dissertation like what they sent for everyone in small businesses to fill out for uh, the financial assistance because of the coronavirus situation like what um, Lewis Rossman showed fucking 800 pages even during this this massive global crisis they still find time to be bitches and force everyone to go through bureaucracy and fucking legalese hoops. It's time to throw that outdated bullshit system away. It's time for the government to be overthrown. It's time for people to be publicly executed. And I'm the one who's going to have a big say in this because I am having a big say in this right now. Mm -hmm. I'm sending out emails and letters. I'm poking the fucking assholes. I don't care if it's a bear or a dragon I'm poking. I don't give a fuck. Martyr me, motherfuckers. Seriously. Because the only thing you're going to accomplish by denying the ultimatum I've given these assholes in charge, the only thing they're going to accomplish, everyone, is martyring me or martyring what I'm doing to my own cause. I've had time to think. For this uh, particular thing I've typed up and printed out, I've had 15 years to think. Because over 15 years ago is when I saw for my own self, my own self, how crept the assholes in charge really are. This, the president is nothing but a, uh, a pawn on the chessboard. The real people in charge are the corporations. The assholes who hide in their their offices and their multi-billion dollar homes making policy and bribing government officials to make policy for them hiding in the shadows the shadow government if you will it's the corporations that's all it's ever been America is a corporate terrorist organization and it's past time for them to go the fuck away it's time for the outdated, bullshit, stifling, inhibiting, and right-violating system to die. So, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to get the Star Wars quote in. Just, just to piss off all the uh, butthurt fanboys who said that the, that the uh, latest Star Wars trilogy was bad. Let the past die. Kill it if you have to. And now it's time to kill it. So, let's have ourselves a good old-fashioned angry mob. It's time to go killing something. And corporate fuckwits are the target. Oh, I forgot. Until next time, fuck right off.